Well, hey everybody, welcome to the second quarter newsletter video from the Robinson Ludwig Group here at Coldwell Banker Morris. Yeah. We find ourselves, in, you know, once again in a beautiful Central Oregon summer, um, but kind of have some interesting stats out there in regards to the real estate market. Grant, what stats do you stats are they're inconsistent, I would say, yeah. Matt. But we'll go over them a little bit with you guys here. For those of you that uh, maybe aren't in Bend, or even if you are and you aren't following very closely, kind of what's going on in your neighborhood or, or here in Bend, Central Oregon in general. Um, we have a, the most significant number has just happened here at the end of June in Bend. The median sales price dropped twenty thousand, just over twenty thousand dollars, which uh, was a little bit of a shock and surprised yeah. us. Just two months ago, uh, we set an all-time high in the median sales price, uh, but then when you pull back a little bit and look at Central Oregon as a whole and the remaining communities of Redmond and Lapine and. Sisters. Sun River, Sisters Crook County, uh, Bend is the only spot where we saw that happen. In fact, the first time in like, we think five or six years, as far as the stats go back, that year over year, we see a median house price that is lower than you know prior month year. than the prior year. June so, of 2018. Um, and that kind of speaks to the narrative that we've talked about a little bit um, in our Tuesday Tidbits and with some of these videos about how, well, Bend is always going to be the flagship. Uh, these other communities are starting to shine a little bit in their own right, and people are seeing value other places than Bend, and they're putting their money in those places. Yeah, I think you're right. I think people are determining that it's worth commuting to Bend um, based on what their how far their dollar goes in these other communities. So, prices in Bend are high. Um, we still think we have positive, you know, we have room for a lot of growth, especially in Absolutely. the coming decades. But we do all continue to get the question of are we heading towards another recession? And, you know, we have an election year coming up next year. There's these trade wars going on. Um, so there, there is some uncertainty. We just set the record for the longest economic expansion in U.S. in recorded U.S. history. I yeah. think it's 121 months. And so this expansion is old and we should be anticipating some sort of correction. Right. Whether that will have an effect on real estate prices, especially here in Central Oregon, we don't think so. But, you know, time will tell. Um, as far as a, a, some, some, something similar to the Great Recession, we firmly believe that that will not happen. And that's mainly because we're doing this every day. We know a lot of people who, there's a lot of money on the sidelines waiting for something to happen. And so, you know, what's that correction gonna look like? 5%, 10%, and if we do have anything greater than 10%, a lot of sellers that, that may want to sell aren't gonna sell at that, at that, at that point and yeah. lose the equity that they had in their house. They saw what happened in the Great Recession and prices will bounce back, they always do. And so people will weather the storms, not sell their homes, so supply will go down, demand will remain strong, if not increase, and that'll bring prices back up. So we just don't see that happening. No, we don't see that happening. And, and actually what we do see happening though are some exciting things with mm -hmm. uh, the Opportunity Zones, which are uh, a great kind of tax uh, shelter and, and, and revitalization kind of incentive program that's nationwide and Ben has a couple of those districts, Redmond has one. Um, the central district's gonna see some redevelopment. We have Southeast Bend with the new high school and, and really excited to see what happens down there in the next kind 10 years. Kind of all years. the UGB lands. All yeah, the UGB lands that have, that have expanded. And so uh, big things on the horizon for Bend and then that's just specifically Bend. All these other communities are doing a great job too of creating their own identity and uh, we're just excited to be in those communities. And, Absolutely. Uh, We'll bring you all and any good information that we have on these quarterly updates as, uh, as far as uh, what these other cities are doing in their, in their development codes yeah. and kind of big projects. We're excited to continue to be selling and representing builders for new homes in Lapine, Sisters, and Redmond. So reach out if you're looking in those communities. Robinson Ludwig team has been off to a good start this year. Yeah. Uh, we are on track to... Uh, meet or exceed our lofty goals that we've set. And that's many thanks to all you guys out there. So continue to send your business and that of your friends and family our way. We promise to take great care of them. And uh, we're just, we're feeling good. We're in a good zone right now yeah. and looking forward to the third and fourth quarters, which uh, historically have proven to be exciting and great for us. Yep. So um, hope, you, hope you guys have had a great year so far. And if you're in Central Oregon, that you're enjoying the, the beautiful Bend slash Central Oregon summers. See you guys. See ya.